Hey everyone, it's Ed Grain and John Saracino from the Review Journal, live in Houston at Super Bowl 51. Uh, Johnny, big day today, Roger Goodell with his State of the League address to the media. Your thoughts on it overall? I mean, Roger was Roger. He's the master of the obvious overstatement, <laughs> reiterating the league's position, particularly on gambling as it relates to possible ownership, as it relates to Las Vegas, where now they need apparently new financial backing to help build that stadium or bring the team. Yeah, he was pretty apparent when John asked him the question. They are not going to embrace casino people with casino owners or casino interests as owners. I think really we got from him as a team or as a stadium. Now the stadium part interested me because obviously Sheldon Adelson had been involved with Mr. Davis to the stadium, not the ownership. Did that part interest you? I mean, I think it's a reiteration of what the league believes. They really do not prefer to have a casino owner to be involved in any of their operations. But again, they can make up the rules as they go along in a sense. They do have bylaws that they try to adhere to, but they're amenable to making changes. So if the right investor came along, I don't know if it's going to be a casino operator. I think that really puts this whole deal in question now. And a couple of weeks ago, I thought it, this was a three-inch putt for Las Vegas to get the Raiders to come there. Now I think it's more like a 10-foot downhill putt at Augusta. I think it's much trickier. Mark Davis apparently has told people in Las Vegas, whether it be Chairman C. Sisolak or the Stadium Authority Board, he has people lined up now that Mr. Adelson has, has withdrawn from the deal. He has people lined up to come in with this financing. We're hearing it might be casino people. That's going to be an issue or not. What do you believe Davis has to do without giving up an ownership stake in his team, which I don't think either of us believe he can get this done without doing it, to get this deal finally done? That's a good question, and that's a proverbial $64,000 question. There are more questions regarding the Raiders' potential move to Las Vegas than there are answers, and right now we don't know. We are like shooting darts uh, and being blindfolded at the same time. It's really impossible to know what's going to happen here, but I think uh, the deal, the proposed deal, is in serious jeopardy right now. All right. Uh, more news obviously will come in the uh, tomorrow and the in the ensuing uh, days about the Raiders, Mark Davis, who he really might have lined up or not lined up to bring to the Stadium Authority Board for the money needed for construction. John has a story, a couple stories in the paper tomorrow. Look for he wrote on the Raiders, but also everything else that happened at the Roger Goodell press conference today. I've got a column on the 750 million in public funds that, for some reason, people are forgetting about. Well, that's a big part of the deal because NFL owners love when the public puts forward their money to help build the stadium. Because usually that's the big issue. It's been the issue in, in San Diego, was the issue in Oakland. In Las Vegas, the money's there. Uh, the governor has supported the idea from the start, and the money's there to do the deal. Now they gotta find the rest of the financing. Read it all in the RJ tomorrow, online by tonight. We'll talk to you again tomorrow, live from the Super Bowl in Houston. Super Bowl 51, it's Ed Graining, John Saraceno from the Review Journal.